It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. I appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video is on the Andy Griffith Show theme song was once the subject of a legal dispute. Take a look. Andy Griffith show may have gone off the air over 50 years ago, but it still managed to be the subject of a lawsuit all these years later. Now, back in 2019, the show became the center of a legal dispute between CBS and the heirs of the songwriters Earl Hagen and Herbert Spencer. It all came down to the iconic whistle that starts and ends each episode. The songwriters' estates accuse CBS of breaching copyright law. The theme for the show had been a part of the show since its inception. Both Hagen and Spencer wrote the tune back in the 50s, according to Deadline. It continues to be fe featured in reruns, uh, airing in syndication. But the estates claim that CBS started selling DVDs of the show without getting permission. Now, you see, both songwriters registered this copyright back in the 60s, uh, then partnered together with uh, Lara B. Music, which held the rights to the song until their death and they passed away. Ownership was transferred to Diana Spencer uh, Trust, Hagen Family Trust, Hagen Children's Trust, and also Hagen Descendants Trust as well. These four entities took issue with CBS selling DVDs with the theme music without properly licensing it from them. CBS, of course, had a rebuttal to these claims. They pointed out that Viacom struck an agreement with Mayberry Enterprises in 1978 for all rights to the series. In 2019, CBS and Viacom merged into one entity, meaning they shared uh, agreement and contracts. But back in the 70s, DVDs were little more than a crazy dream of the future, so the media wasn't included in that agreement. When the trust reached out uh, to strike a new deal, CBS balked at paying money for the rights, so the trust took the matter to California courts. CBS had refused to enter into a new agreement with the plaintiffs to authorize its exploitation of the theme in additional media or otherwise ceasing uh, conducting such an unauthorized exploitation, said attorney Neville Johnson in the complaint. To the contrary, plaintiffs have since learned that CBS has licensed the series to digital services such as iTunes and Amazon for distribution and public performances. Now, this was all back in 2019, but it doesn't appear as if the matter was resolved, at least not in court. Legal battles over copyrights can sometimes turn hairy, but it's been silent on the front since a lawsuit was announced. Uh, fortunately, proceedings don't seem to affect how the viewers can watch the show. Thank God. Um, that's all I got for you. Don't forget uh, classic sitcoms, facts, and trivia. I've got a two-parter going on, part one today, part two tomorrow, on uh, the, uh, the sad and tragic life and death of Dana Plato from uh, Different Strokes. Um, it is, it is quite long, uh, and quite sad, but, uh, well worth the watch. And, uh, don't forget to subscribe once you're there and don't forget the contest and that you have to be, uh, subscribed to the Beverly Hillbillies channel. Uh, so make sure you're subscribed there. Have a great day. God bless. Be praying for you.